Eve Pains. Hey folks, welcome to Keith Paints. Today, I'm going to share with you my process for painting small scale minis like these Galactic Crusaders I found online for free. These ones are printed at 25 microns. I could do 10 microns, but this was just a test and they still look pretty good and printed up real fast. I wanted to paint some of them, but there was the obvious question of how should I paint them? I found this image online, and yes, I know all legions had all marks of armor or thereabouts, but many of these ones here have specialized pieces like helmets and chest plates. Two stood out as a good match though. Those were the Night Lords and the Word Bearers, both with mostly standard armor, so I went with them. I've seen some people painting this scale of minis on the strips, but I didn't find I had enough brush space, so I've taken to painting them on the top of a spray paint can. A bit of blue tack around the edge and you can get 10 on there easy with lots of room for painting. I chose a captain with a mace for the word bearers, and since there were no claws, I chose a sword for the night lords. The word bearers wear what's known as traitor red. It's a sort of metallic red with black or dark gray shoulder pads from the image here. Their face plates are also gray or silver. First up, I cover them completely with lead belcher on a fat brush. I decided to try shading them with Carolberg Crimson, hoping the metallic would show through. I'm not sure if it was necessary, but I ended up putting three coats on. They're pretty dark, but I think it looks good. I thought black might be too dark, so I went with Mechanicus Standard Grey for the shoulders, and then stained them with some Army Painter Dark Tone. I went around the circle doing all the left sides, and then again doing the rights for both the grey and then the dark tone. The faceplates all got Administratum Grey. Their weapons all get some matte black, including the handle on the captain's mace. I also add black to bits on the two missile launcher backpacks. I gave the captain a little more love by painting his plume with Rackarth flesh. I felt his cape and cloth might do well with that color as well. I could make them sort of like the pieces of scripture you see in the reference image, which might be a little too small for this scale. Next, we're back to Lead Belcher for the bits of their weapons that aren't supposed to be black the back ends, barrels, and magazines, as well as the head of the captain's mace. Temple Guard Blue will make a nice contrast color for the captain's plasma pistol, as well as to drop into their tiny eyes. Some of them are pretty bad, but nobody's looking that close. The final step is to clean up their bases with black. Alright, first one's done, now on to the Night Lords. They have their own blue, eponymously named Night Lords Blue, which I gave them all two coats of, before dousing them with Drakenhof Nightshade. I'm not sure if Cantor Blue is supposed to be the layer color for Night Lords. I didn't bother looking it up. The bottle says it's a, a base color, so maybe not but I gave dry brushing a try on tiny models, and it worked out pretty well, I think. Now, I get really wild and try freehanding lightning on their right shoulder pads with Calgar Blue. I'm pretty sure I put White Scar on there as well as a highlight. Hopefully I can find it when I'm doing the final edit. Feeling emboldened by the successful lightning, I decided to try some Night Lords logos on their left shoulder pads. Red bat wings with a white skull in the middle. Some of them are just smears of color, but I used Wazdaka Red for the wings and went back to Administratum Grey for the skulls. Then I put dots of White Scar on the skulls and bits of Wild Rider Red on the wings for highlights.
for their weapons, for some reason, I reversed the order this time, and covered them with Lead Belcher before painting the black parts with matte black. For dark blue armor, I thought Trollslayer Orange would contrast well, then went back to Wazdaka Red for the Captain's Plume and Cape. Once again, we finish off with more matte black to clean up the bases. Next step is to remove them all from the spray paint cans and pick the blue tack off their bottoms. Then I get them all lined up in the order I want them on the bases and start gluing them down. This is the lid of a bottle of generic black gesso that I shook up. This is just to blacken all the bases before we begin so no gray shows through. Be careful not to transfer gesso from your fingers to the already painted minis. On top of that, I'm using some Armageddon Dust texture paint, very carefully pushing it between all the models and their legs. Once it dries, I douse it all with Dark Tone and let it dry again, before dry brushing it with some Skelly Bone. I wanted to try flocking with one of these flocking things that I borrowed from my brother a couple years ago and never gave back or used. The grass is definitely too long, but these are just test minis anyway, so let's do it. I used some Mod Podge for glue, and honestly, it didn't seem to work that well. Maybe the battery is dying? Maybe I was holding it too far away? Maybe the glue dried too quick? I reapplied a bit near the edges where no grass had stuck. It doesn't look too bad in the end, not as vertical as I hoped, but better than trying to do it by hand. Naturally, we must blacken the edges of the bases before we can call it complete. So, what do you think? I definitely like the Night Lords better than the Word Bearers. I might print and paint a small army of them. Check back in the future if you'd like to see that, and like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.